Hi all, coming on with you today to um, sorry, um, to do this card with you. Well, I've got a couple of cards prepped, ready to do. Um, this first card I'm going to do with you is called a TP card, and what you're going to need is three pieces of five by five squared card. You're going to put it in your trimmer on the diagonal and you're going to score down the middle. Okay, can you see that where I've scored it down the middle? And you're going to do that to all three pieces of card. Your DSP is four and a quarter by four and a quarter and you'll need three pieces. And again, you will need to score it diagonally from corner to corner. Now, I like to put my DSP on before I start folding and burnishing. So I'll just do that. And this is the Subtools um, DSP paper block that you get and when you're putting it on try and line up your score lines on your card and for speed hopefully it'll let me I'm gonna use snail chose to do these couple of cards with you today because I'm going to be MIA for a few days um, because as many of you know I had some family issues before Christmas health issues and um, they're now solved but I think I spent that much time being the backbone for everybody else that I forgot about me and it's made me unwell and I just need to take time for me, basically. Just lining up my score lines with the score lines on the card. And this is a quick and simple card. So there's our three pieces matte and laid. Now the trick to this card is you turn one so it looks like a diamond shape and then what you do is let me see where I'm going <laughs> you connect them ones onto the back so you have something that resembles that okay so you can go ahead now and burnish all your score lines now that you have your DSP on Okay, so they're all finished. 
and now it's just a matter of sticking your um, card on top of your card, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, obviously you will use something that's better than snail. I'm just using snail for speed because like I said, I want to do this other card with you as well. So you're getting two for the price of one. Um, while I am MIA, my shop will remain open if anybody is interested in purchasing anything. Um, it's open 24-7. Just trying to figure out which side to put this. And will remain open 24-7. Sorry about shaking the tripod there. So there is basically your card. That's what it's going to look like, okay? But then you fold it round. If you don't stick it too far over the line. <laughs> Which I have clearly done. A day in the life. Okay, so your card will fill round. Till it looks like a teepee. Okay, and I'm just going to punch a hole in the front here so that it'll stay closed. It can be opened and fill, folded flat like that for postage and doing that it will fit in a normal size envelope but I'm just going to show you how you close it once you've um, sent it well once the recipient, recipient receives it so I'm just going to get this as level as I can And I'm just going to punch a hole um, about there. And what I'm going to do is, I've already threaded some of the Blush and Bride Baker's Twine onto one of the buttons. I think these buttons are on clearance at the minute. And what I'm going to do is just put a couple of um, glue dots on the button so that once I pull it through it will stick to the back of the card. Okay, so I'm just going to thread this through the hole now. So you just thread it through this hole, pull it taut so that then glue dots will stick down, give them a bit of a squish, okay, and then thread through this hole. And there you go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a knot in this first. 
but obviously you will just tie a bow in it so that the um, you can post it flat. Okay. Don't open. Ah, oh, and it opened. Probably taking that long on this blooming card, then I won't have time to do the other one. Staying shut for now to behave in itself. So that's what the front looks like and the sides and the back and the other side. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. I will tidy that ribbon up. Just give that a bit of a pinch so it will stand up. <laughs> um, I've punched out some butterflies in coordinating paper some white butterflies and something to stamp our sentiment on so I'm going to use pink pirouette says have a beautiful birthday and it has the birthday blossoms I'm just going to try and centralize it about there five seconds okay put that a bit low but hey ho Put that out of the road, put that out of the road. I didn't get any foam. Get some flowers going on. I suppose you could always turn that over and use the reverse if you wanted to. It all it is double sided. Grab some diamonds, basic rhinestones, whatever you want to call them. Flick them all over the table if you want. Okay, give these butterflies some life. Just with your bone folder, thing your wings up. Two more should do it. Up there, it's been threatening to snow here all day. We've had it like past.
powder, you know, but it's not stuck or nothing. Just threatening. <laughs> Just going to stick these on with some glue dots. That rhinestone didn't even want to stick. back off that one. Just rip back off, it doesn't matter. Get rid of that glue dot. Okay, now our butterflies. Give them some Diamantes, rhinestones, whatever. Put a white one on the front. up there where I stamped it too low down. Couple of dimensionals. So again for, to make this card you're going to need three pieces measuring five by five inches and you're going to score them all diagonally on either your scoreboard or your trimmer board. Um, your DSP measures four and three quarters by four and three quarters. Um, I'm going to put this under this twine. And you're going to also score that. I can't put it under there. Yeah, I can. A four by four 
a score that diagonally <laughs> and that is your TP card all done all scored and all decorated so again it's three pieces five by five card scored diagonally from corner to corner um, on all three pieces. Um, your DSP you need three pieces of four and three quarters by four and three quarters and that will just give you that little border all the way around and again that needs to be scored diagonally on all four um, on all three pieces sorry the way you connect it is can you make it out from the back there that's our first piece so you attach that diagonal line okay attach that diagonal line and then you attach that one and that gives you what they call a TP fold card okay right I'm gonna leave it there and I'll come back and I'll do that other one in a minute okay so I'll speak to you all in a minute bye for now bye